Hi kids, it's Uncle Woods here. I've got a bit of a problem. I'm on an adventure and uh, I meant to be using this thing, but uh, I don't know how to use it. It's got these um, instructions on the side here, but um, mm, 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 I just can't seem to understand it. Can you think of a time when something was really, really hard to understand? Even after trying a million times, it just wouldn't make sense. Hmm. I've always struggled with maths. English can often be hard too. Sometimes, I need someone to explain what's happening in a movie as well. Well kids, sometimes parts of the Bible can be really hard to understand. No matter how much we try and read it ourselves, it just doesn't make sense. Today we're going to hear a story about a man who needed help understanding a part of the Bible he was reading. Let's check it out. Philip lived in the city of Jerusalem. One day, an angel appeared to Philip and said, Get ready and go south to Gaza. Go along the desert road. Philip did what the angel had said. He left Jerusalem and went down the desert road. As he ran along the road, he saw a man sitting in his chariot. The man was from a country far, far away called Ethiopia. He was an important official for the Queen of Ethiopia. The man was reading from a book of the Bible called Isaiah. He was led like a sheep about to be killed. He was silent. He never opened his mouth to protest. They treated him unfairly and then he died. Philip asked the man, Do you understand what you are reading? The Ethiopian shook his head. How can I understand unless someone explains it to me? So Philip explained that Isaiah was talking about Jesus. Jesus was led away to be killed, but he never said a word in protest. Even though his punishment was unfair, he never cried out for them to stop. God had promised that someone would come. God had promised Jesus. Jesus willingly took the punishment we all deserve. And the Ethiopian believed God's good news. He believed that Jesus had been punished for him. The Ethiopian saw some water beside the road and asked Philip to baptise him. And Philip did. As soon as they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord took Philip away. And the Ethiopian went back to his home country full of joy, taking this good news with him. Well, there we have it. Sometimes we just need someone to explain things to us. Just like the Ethiopian man said in the story, how can I understand unless someone explains it to me? The Bible is a story about Jesus and how he suffered and died as a servant for the whole world. For the Ethiopian man in the story, for me, for you, and all our friends and family as well. How about we sing our song? Bye kids. Everyone who, everyone who, everyone who calls, everyone who calls, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, will be saved, will be saved. Hey, everyone who, everyone who, everyone who calls, everyone who calls, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord. Everyone